B pharma is four years course, and after one one two thousand three, B pharma course is not recognized in USA. Most of our pharmacy graduates used to go to USA, and they, uh, they used to work there. But after one one two thousand three, four years B pharma is not recognized, and they, to have online with the uh, other developer countries, Pharmacy Council of India has started the PharmD six years program. Uh, the syllabus is on par with uh, any other developed country. And after completion of this course, uh, they, they will be given PharmD degree, Doctor in Pharmacy. So MBBS, just like uh, MBBS doctor, they can also write as uh, doctor before their name. In Andhra Pradesh, there are 32 PharmD colleges, out of which 10 colleges are situated in and around Hyderabad. And uh, coming to the fee structure, 67,500 is the convenient quota fees, and 1.51 lakhs is management fees. That means for six years, so uh, approximately 9 lakhs fees has to be paid to the management. Farm D course is six years course, Doctor of Pharmacy, and after Farm D only they can go to PhD. So there is no uh, PG course or master course in between. So after Farm D they can uh, go for PhD. That is one thing. And the difference between Doctor and Farm D. So Doctor MBBS Doctor he uh, diagnoses the disease and writes the prescription. And pharmacist will assist, will help the uh, doctor or uh, counsel the patient with regard to the usage of the drug, how much to take, how long to take, when to take, like that. Because when five or six drugs are written by doctor, when all the five are taken at one time, this becomes a test tube. All the drugs will be mixed inside and the several side effects will be, uh, will happen. So, his duty is to study the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics of all the drugs and advise the doctor accordingly. For your information, sir, recently I met the chairman of one corporate hospital. They appointed a clinical pharmacist. After appointing the clinical pharmacist, the bill on drugs reduced by 25% because this clinical pharmacist was used to audit the prescription of all doctors. So he is uh, uh, consulting doctors, sir, why the doctors are, why you have written that these two drugs contain almost similar drugs. So like that he is used to interact and the doctors also used to interact with this person and before writing prescription. So he helps, he is in between the patient and the doctor. He is in between the patient and the doctor. After yeah. Farm B, if you do a PG diploma in clinical research, about 18 months to 24 months different universities they offer if you join a multinational company for drug trials the salary offered is 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees per month there is a huge shortage of manpower doing clinical trials qualified people requirement is from B plus PG diploma in clinical research you can say search in the website and that makes a very good career Sir, what about the minority counselling and ranking in the, for MBBS and medicine seats? And uh, how many colleges are there in and around the Hyderabad? So, when they will prepare the ranking for minorities ranking, separate ranking, counselling? The minority colleges in Usman University area, one is Deccan College of Medical Sciences, Hyderabad. Second one is Shadan College of Medical Sciences. There is one more exclusive women's medical college with annual intake of 100 Verasat Rasul Khan Educational Society's medical college which again uh, in, located in nearby Rangaraja Raja Managar these are the three minority institutions located here they are supposed to advertise and take the minority merit and your ABCDE that 4 percent preservation is there so, what I would suggest is all of you attend the general counseling and test your uh, opportunities in 4%. Then again, apply for their advertisement also, respond to their advertisement also, go for both. 
respond to both notifications. One is uh, NTR University, 4%, that is BCE, and BCE, all Muslims are not eligible, only whoever is coming under the purview of BCE. Others who respond to their respect to, they will put it in the notice boards, or they may publish in Siyasat, Rayanuma Dakkan, Munsip, or they may only publish in the notice board, have somebody there, and apply to their uh, advertisement. They will publish. You have to respond to their advertisement, either notice board or newspaper. Fees structure, sir, for fees structure. Fee structure is same. same. Is a, a, for government, it is whether minority, non-minority, it is same. Uh, the question that I have is, uh, is this the uh, fee structure across all the private A colleges, is it same or standardized or are there differences between them? That is one question. Uh, second is, uh, for the students who have completed their MBBS from from our state, what kind of difficulties they have uh, getting into PG seats outside of Andhra Pradesh? And the third question that I have is, uh, for this counselling, for MBBS counselling, where should they be going? Whether they should be going to the NTR Health University or will it be done here? As far as the private A is concerned, it is uniform throughout, wherever private A means it is a fixed same fees. MBBS, if you study in Andhra Pradesh, and you are domicile and native of Andhra Pradesh, your parents have not worked elsewhere, you are not allowed to write examinations of the other states. However, you are allowed to write the central institutions. They are PGI Chandigarh, Alani Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute, Pondicherry, Banaras Hindu University, Banaras, Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute, Lucknow, and of late six institutions are being established by government of India. Yesterday only a notification has come. Central government organized institutions only, Andhra Pradesh people are eligible. They are not eligible to go into All India PG entrance examination. That's a bar because of the constitutional amendment, 371B. BSc Biotechnology, three-year degree. It is a B.Tech Biotechnology, a four-year four year degree. So this is totally a, a different uh, discipline uh, with a different uh, background. But whereas that is one of the three disciplines of the B.Sc. degree because there are uh, three parallel uh, courses are there, chemistry, another microbiology, biology, or what, uh, botany, geology, or biotechnology, these combinations. So it will be a, a vertical movement uh, along with other three. But here it is only exclusively biotechnology program. So in which certain interdisciplinary subjects are there, uh, majority uh, 30 to 40 percent chemical engineering subjects are being covered in the B.Tech biotechnology. Job opportunity is same, sir. The job opportunities, they have to go for the conventional chemical industry, which is transforming into bio-based industries. Yes. And they can be an uh, environmental engineers also they can go. They can be further higher studies they can pursue and uh, all biotech based industries which are coming up so that uh, they can go ahead. Between BDS and Pharma D, yes. if you want to be in India and for a girl BDS works out very well but you have to do MBS course. If you do MBS, your career is very bright. If you have somebody who can sponsor you to states, do farm day if there is any links and inclination for you to go to states, think of farm day and uh, think of a clinical research diploma or degree, then go in that line. In India, farm day as such, unless there is a, some multinational clinical trials, BDS and MDS stream is better. I, I, I disagree with the, Dr. C. L. Venkatraver on this side, yeah. Even in India also farm D is better. Because Medical Council has in principle accepted to uh, uh, pass a resolution that every teaching hospital must be employ at least one PharmD person. Therefore, the opportunities definitely, because the, by the time you complete it will be six years, definitely in India also PharmD people will have better opportunities. As far as the foreign universities are concerned, it's a very interesting question. Parents should remember, students should remember two things. One, most of them the duration of course is seven years, whereas in India it's five and a half years. The Medical Council of India is conducting a screening test. The screening test is very difficult 
Earlier days the pass rate used to be 9 percent. Now the pass rate has improved to 25 percent. So out of every 100 students are coming back, 75 percent of them are failing. They are taking on an average of two to three years for them to clear the screening test before they get registration. If I have a son or daughter, it is better you do shopping. If you go to shopping in Pondicherry, there is a big line of medical college, 10 medical college, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. If you have patience and do shopping, at the same price what you are paying, by paying here and taking the bank loan, it is preferable to keep your son or daughter in India, take the assistance of the bank and put a leave for 10 to 15 days or 20 days, going to the Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Pondicherry and Andhra Pradesh, you will get it. And absolutely, first preference shall be Indian education and the costs are going to be the same, years are more, difficulties are more. The other day you have seen what types of Ukraine people are facing and there is language barrier, language difficulties. I would suggest the parents to bank upon India, the education is not that cheaper, it is almost equal. Yeah. The BHMS, BAMS and uh, naturopathy and yoga, it is based on MSA trends only and a separate notification will be given after completion of the MBBS and BDS seats. For MBBS, BDS, first counselling is uh, July 20th. There is going to be second counselling in the month of August or September. Sometimes there is going to be third counselling also. The classes for the first batch will commence from, first counselling students will commence from 1st of August. BUMS for, uh, it is a Unani medical science. For Muslims, it is good. The, it is more of related to, Unani is uh, more related to, and even language also, it helps BUMS. And there is a separate entrance examination for BUMS admission. Uh, BHMS is based, uh, it is a homeopathy. It does not uh, mix with the modern medicine. Ayurveda, naturopathy, yoga, they teach the same subjects like allopathy. So, BAMS doctors and the naturopathy doctors will be appointed in private allopathic hospitals in times of shortage. Now, today in city, there is a huge shortage of MBBS doctors. All the nursing homes are manned by the Ayurveda doctors and the naturopathy doctors. Homeopathy science doesn't fit into allopathic medicine. The fees category is for unaided minority and non-minority, it is the same. And uh, now there is a, some litigation is prevailing, they are not transparent in the admissions, we have to see what the High Court is going to give. And you would have seen the press reports about the, our uh, state governor, Narasimhanji, what he is, how he is responding with regard to medical education, this management seats. So we have to wait for the High Court judgment and also the governor's, uh, he has written a letter to chief secretary to be more transparent with regard to the admission C category and B category in minority. Let us see if some more time is there. A lot of, a lot of girls are just studying, even veterinary also. Now, in olden days, probably we used to handle the animals, generally the girl used to be fear or working in a different uh, interior villages. So, to think of veterinary after employment, probably you have to compulsorily go to the villages and work in a the dispensary is located in the village, that is one course. And the outside also, I think in other countries, there is chance of probably with uh, other animals being uh, preferred. There is definitely, there is, there is uh, in pet animals probably, this is, a, is becoming a business oriented. Okay, that is a good chance and the ladies need not fear, a lot of assistance is now being given. Uh, number of girls are studying veterinary course. Related to medical, people who do not seek uh, MBBS and BDS, the other options are physiotherapy, BSc medical lab technology and BSc nursing. Already a notification has been issued. These subjects admission is based on merit of intermediate. 5th of July is the last date for application. NTR University has already advertised. 5th July, you can apply for, for a girl, BSc nursing is best. You can do B.Sc, then you can do M.Sc. You can be either an instructor or you can be a nursing supervisor in the hospital. For a girl, the career in B.Sc nursing, nursing career is good. For a boy, 
they can take up bsc medical lab technology bsc mlt there are about more than 50 colleges in andhra pradesh there are about 50 physiotherapy colleges they can you can respond to the advertisement of ntr university 